All right, Scare Package 2. If you saw my review of the first one, you know I've been waiting for this one. So you probably gonna know how many pools of blood this got, but we have to go through the usual conversation first. So uh, we'll start off with the MDB plot. Uh, when horror guru Rad Chad Buckley's funeral turns into an elaborate series of hilarious death traps, the guests must band together and use the rules of horror to survive the bloody game. Um, you know, as we saw in the original movie, there was a lot about the rules of horror, and, and obviously, this is a, the movie largely is a spoof on horror and, and kind of a parody and, and so forth. Um, you know, that kind of goes down the, the same direction this time. Uh, it kind of picks up where the last film last left off, where um, we, you know, no, no spoiler here, I mean, whatever, uh, I don't know. Um, Chad has died, and uh, now it is time for his funeral. Um, so you're going to see a few faces, not a whole lot of faces. Uh, show up for this funeral and um, you know it, it kind of starts off okay and then of course it gets a little weird because you know it is and uh, then all of a sudden you're going to find out that these individuals that have come to the funeral are now trapped and uh, when we say trapped you kind of end up uh, thinking saw so yeah we're going to take on kind of a saw theme here uh, where these individuals um, are now trapped and are facing life and death um, and are going to have to be put to the test in their own right um, but you know this this wouldn't be you know following the first one if we also didn't see um, a series of, of videos because remember he did have the video store so we're also going to see um, in between some of these traps and some of these tests that that these individuals here are going to do are going to be um, a couple of short films um, some of them are going to be sequels or continuations of what we saw in the uh, first movie, uh, particularly the, the wraparound, I mean, the, the overall story of the Chad, uh, that's kind of continue here. You're going to see a familiar face or two, and um, maybe some surprises by the end. Again, you know, um, this movie's new, but it's been out for a while. I really wish I would have been able to, to review it right when it came out, because I was dying um, to not only see it, but then to review it, but just haven't been able to. So, I mean, it's been out for a little while now, um, but I still kind of keep this spoiler free. So you're gonna see some surprises by, by the end and by the time this wraps up. Uh, you know, I guess one one disappointment is I really liked, uh, what was it, the goo guy, or I forgot what his name was from the first one, um, but basically it was one of those shorts that he was just a pile of goo. Um, and they're in the ground and I, I just to this day I think that's just a terrific short by itself um, I wish that they would have continued that um, somehow some some way I think there was might have been reference to that at some point I, I don't remember um, you know I, I always say that I don't go back and watch movies a second time I definitely want to go back and watch this a second time at some point um, but there is a, a, at least one other short in here, um, besides the rap, continuation of the wraparound, that uh, kind of expands, uh, it's kind of like the sequel to the original, and I guess that one is is the one where the, the girl um, tries to, to kill her, I think it was either, it was a serial killer that was trying to, to kill her, and she just kept killing him and killing him, and he just kept coming back, she just couldn't kill him. Um, and then it had a little few twists there at the end. Um, then it picks up here and it kind of throws in a few more twists. And uh, again, is that whole thing if, if, you know, can you kill him, kill him, kill him? And, and there's some twist and just playing on the whole, you know, I guess slasher thing that they always come back no matter what, what you do. And, and then throw on top of that, you know, some of the twists that, that are involved. And, and so they kind of play on that. Um, 
again, you know, uh, very bloody, obviously, you know, with the attempted death, and uh, they just have a good time. It just seems like that kind of short just seems like a good time, you know, when you just kill someone a bunch of times and then make it all bloody and, and whatever, and then they add a little bit of mystery to, to it with the twist. So um, if you liked the, the original, that original short, I, I think you'll like the continuation here. Um, and, you know, maybe leaving the door open if they do a third to continue with the third, why not? Um, uh, there's another one in there which was kind of fun is, is um, kind of a play on, on Final Girls uh, you have a, a bunch of girls who who think that, that you know they're kind of the, the true Final Girls because they, they're not made of anything that the killer would want to see they're you know dressed very casual and, and not fancy they like to read or, or whatever maybe a little on the nerdy side or, or kind of playing towards that kind of angle so you know they're not going to be the, the typical ones that a serial killer would want to kill you know the the girl that wants to have sex with everybody the, the very good looking girl the one that you know has basically no clue what's going on or is dressed half naked the entire time uh, there's kind of the opposite of that so they figure that you know because they are the killers will never target them or notice them and go on their way and that's all fine and good until it's not <laughs> the killer eventually kills one of them and then that kind of confuses them and causes you know kind of suspends them into chaos and then one of those girls that they would think that is the killer's type you know pretty and everything kind of comes over and uh, you know kind of throw that into the pot and uh, they almost kind of experiment like you know is he going to kill her or maybe if we dress her uh, like us you know is he going to kill her then so uh, they have a fun time kind of spinning on that and uh, an interesting type killer the killer kind of looks like a goofy Jason in a way um, but they kind of have a fun time there uh, I, I really enjoyed that one. Um, there's another one with some kids that, that kind of, you know, do what they're not supposed to do, try to bring a person back to life, and that, that doesn't, you know, obviously not going to work out well. And um, what else was there? Um, that, that one, and it's, it's hard sometimes to keep all these, these sh shorts uh, together. Um, oh, there's the... the Three men and a and a and a baby one. Uh, also, I uh, don't remember that one as as well. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's there's a couple of those shorts in there. Um, I would say overall maybe not. You know, one's obviously a continuation. Obviously, you know, I, I mentioned at the top that I really like the, the the one with the gory guy. So maybe not all the way to that level, but still enjoyable enough um i thought you know maybe some of the scenes in between where um some of the the, the challenges that these people are going through were, were actually entertaining in themselves i uh there's a a beer pong contest to the death i guess or or um you have to beat beer pong or be the beer pong champion for the group to survive so they do a um you know, I could see some people saying it's stupid. I mean, it, that's not gonna be for everybody. Um, and and you know, I'm not a beer pong person, but I thought the scene was entertaining enough. So uh, there's a little bit of that mixed in. Uh, there's a little humor along the way. Like I said, uh, you know, I don't want to give everything away, but you are gonna see, you know, a couple of familiar faces. There's one in particular that that is a little bit of a driving force here, and uh, they're funny in their own right. Um, but again, you know, kind of think about it as, as you know, we're, we're topping off the whole uh, Saw thing here. So again, the, the group is here is is going to be going through these challenges. Obviously, there's somebody running the show. Uh, they kind of play off the, the whole uh, jigsaw puppet kind of thing. So they do some funny things there. Um, you know it's almost like you know like they can't you know you can't get rid of saw like you thought you know they did so many sequels and then i think we you know then we did kind of did the remake now we have a new saw that that is almost 
playing you know with the originals and 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 more of that and then i you know we've kind of seen saw used in other parodies before and now, now you, you know it's the overall parody here um so you know maybe you're a little wary of saw or, or, or that kind of thing so you know maybe it's for you maybe it's not uh, i again enjoyed it i again enjoyed the characters here then and, and like i said some of the familiar faces that you can see them return and um have a good time with them like i said you know maybe the shorts weren't as good as the first one but still good enough um again you know that one was just you know to me is was it was just so good um but you know, uh, you know, it is, you know, uh, again, anything with kind of this anthology kind of thing, you're going to like some and you're not going to like some. Um, but I think, you know, enough is there, enough is there between, you know, what is going on. Again, you know, this is a horror comedy. So, you know, I can see some people watching this and being like, oh, this is just dumb or, or just not going with the with the comedy here. Again, this is. IMDb. I, I don't know why I started, you know, looking more at these things. Four point eight out of ten, out of just under a thousand, um, I guess, ratings here. Um, you know, comedy is hard sometimes. I mean, you know, horror is hard sometimes. Uh, it, it, you know, either you're gonna hit it with some people or you're not. Um, to me, I love it. I'm ready for part three. Um, you know, I did my my top ten. I've, forgot where I put it but it made my top 10 of, of 2022 uh, I wish I would have reviewed it before I did that list um, there's just you know some some parodies you know work and, and some don't and, and to me this this works you know I like you know the whole start with the video store this one isn't totally about the video store but they don't forget about that from the first one um, you know Rad Chad <laughs> funny character that you know even though you know it's his funeral or whatever he kind of sets all this up so again you know there's just if you can just enjoy what they do with horror and the play on horror if you're a horror fan you know i think this is you know something that that you can like and enjoy if you can kind of you know and it's kind of fun to figure out what they're playing on you know you keeping up with the saw thing and then even in the individual shorts with the final girl thing or, or with the, the maybe the, the reanimator or Frankenstein, whatever you want to call it, bringing back to life kind of thing. And, you know, those little things that did you kind of piece together, where, where are they picking, you know, from or where are they making fun of or, or, you know, what kind of thing are they changing from other movies and that kind of thing can be fun in itself. Um, you make kind of a game of it alone. So, Lots of ways to view it, lots of ways to like it. I mean, if you don't, you don't, not, not, you know, it is what it is. But to me, I really liked it. I don't remember, you know, I, I hate when I do this also. I don't go back and, and I see, see what I gave the original. I'm sure I gave it four, 4.5 pools of blood. Um, I'm going to give this one four pools of blood. Uh, that is out of five. Um, you know, again, I, I don't remember what I gave the original. Um... I said it, you know, before, I think maybe the shorts in the original maybe a little bit better than this one, uh, but I think, you know, these were still good, and, um, you know, it, it just the whole wraparound is fun as well, and I was just thinking about the original again with the whole, I think it was the first one with the whole uh, guy that, that was supposed to, that kind of ended up being Michael Myers and really didn't want to be Michael Myers, uh, whether it was a whole funny thing or it was something to that, that effect. Um, you know, just stuff like that is just is, is so good. I don't know. Um, but with that, you know, I definitely say the, the original was hard to beat, I, you know, and, and and so forth. So if you haven't seen either of these movies I, and, and you like kind of a parody, kind of horror, you want to see a spoof on horror, um, definitely worth watching. Um, and then probably watch them in order. Hopefully you don't watch part two you know, ahead, because then you kind of miss a little bit of the wraparound story. Um, but either way, I, I recommend both <laughs> and love both. And um, hopefully they, they have a third that will, will, you know, finish things off here. And, and um, you know, maybe they have more in store. Who, who knows? Uh, so again, that, that's going to be four pools of blood uh, out of five. 
And uh, with that, horoscorereviews.blogspot.com is uh, where you can find all of my reviews, written and uh, video. And uh, But if you're just interested in the video reviews, you can subscribe, like, do all those kind of things uh, that everybody wants to do on YouTube and so forth. And Twitter, Facebook information down below and do everything everybody wants to do, do there too. Like, follow and all that. Um, and uh, you can reach out to me there and then talk horror, talk about this movie, um, something you want me to review, reach out to me there. Uh, in the comment section, you know, I definitely want to know if, you know, you enjoyed this movie, which was your favorite short. You know, maybe you had a favorite one um, that was different than mine. I would say of this one, I think that that final girl one was pretty funny, but, you know, also the, the other one that's kind of a continuation from the original is also, also pretty good. Um, but, you know, maybe you liked one of the other ones, or maybe not. I don't know, but feel free to throw that in the comment section. Uh, interested to, to know uh, what you liked um, about this film, if you liked it at all. Um, so yeah, with that, uh, here's to hoping there's a, a third part, and I will catch you on the next review, horror fans.